NAB show in Las Vegas. Hi, this is Stephen Preston from Broadcast, and with me at NAB here is Peter Wharton, the VP of Technology and Business Development for Broadstream Solutions. And he's going to tell me about what products they have on show here uh, for NAB 2016. Peter. Thank you very much. So we're showing Oasis, our main playout system. It's a very advanced, very capable playout system that can scale from just a few channels to literally hundreds of channels. We're also showing our Armada time delay servers. And the newest product we're showing is Beacon, which is a simplified, streamlined version of our Oasis playout, primarily for um, applications such as DigiNets, community channels, and other applications where they don't need all the sophistication that we have built into Oasis. And uh, do you think that uh, Beacon's going to be particularly popular, and if so, where? I do think so, because as we see, I mean, there's uh, more and more smaller niche channels coming up. There are DigiNets, you know, the, those dot two and dot three networks we're seeing, and those will probably see more of those as we have developed ATSA 3.0 as that's released. So we think there's a prime you know, market for something like uh, Beacon here. And uh, your Oasis, your mini Oasis product, uh, do you have any features or changes there? Well, we've added a multi-channel web client, which is a fully web-based interface to manage and control it. Um, so that really helps uh, operators use this, especially uh, we're also showing it being fully virtualized here on the show, so we can run in a fully vir virtualized environment. So the web client allows us to control that and basically run it from anywhere. It also enables things like station centralization projects and large installations. Okay, and uh, I believe you're moving towards the cloud. That's correct. So by the end of this year, we will be showing Oasis running in a fully virtualized public cloud environment. Uh, we have a number of partners we're working with right now to help implement that. It's going very well, and we're really excited about that. That's going. That's really important for us because the business is changing. There's so much uncertainty and change going on that uh, customers are you know, more and more telling us that they want to run in a public cloud because they don't want to keep building infrastructure when they don't really know where the business is going next. You know, and, and we've seen this change. I've been in this business 35 years. I've never seen as much change and uncertainty as we have today. So that's, that's one of the reasons why people are looking to do this sort of deployments. So clients are looking for flexibility then when it comes to play out. Flexibility, scalability, and the ability to quickly adapt to changing requirements that the, whatever comes down the pike, they want to be able to change. They don't want to have bought a hardware-based system and then find out they want to do something different than what their hardware was bought for. And I gather you've had some client wins since we last spoke at CCW? Yeah, actually, we, we had great wins. So we uh, are just finishing up WRAL, which is a flagship station in this country. So we're doing eight channels with them, as well as eight channel disaster recovery on an offsite that's mirrored. Um, and with that system, um, it's, it's a great comp company to work with because they're really a pioneer industry. They were the first station to ever go HD, as well as the first to do HD news. So working with them is fantastic. We've also done a number of other stations, including several PBS stations. And most recently, we're now doing the News Press Gazette station group. So that's going very well. Okay. So uh, I understand you've got some new partnerships in the offering. That's correct. So we are partnering right now with Bannister Lakes. They uh, provide the data to drive our graphics, so all sorts of data from school closings and weather alerts to social media integration, including uh, social media moderation, so you can moderate like Twitter feeds and stuff to put on air. So that's a really important part of uh, integrating um, the, the graphics in the system. So we're proud to have that partnership. Another one that's really important to us is Transmedia Dynamics, or TMD. They're an asset management company, so their MAM is now being fully integrated into Oasis to provide full end-to-end -end workflows with um, asset management all the way from where content is created all the way through playout, and then also to over-the-top delivery, so you could have a nice unified workflow asset ma and asset management system to drive everything. So it sounds like a very comprehensive system. Where should people yeah. go for more information, Peter? You can go to www.broadstream.com. Our website. Thank Peter. you very much. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you, Thank you Stephen. This is Stephen Preston for InBroadcast.